Hi, my name is Graham Potter. I'm the manager of Brighton and I'm here to answer questions for Ask the Coach. When I was at the university, uh, University of Hull, um, I was friends with with Graham Jones. He was working with Roberto Martinez, so I was lucky enough uh, to to watch those guys work. And while they're at Swansea, I saw the start of the of the project that they had there in terms of the identity that they're trying to create and how they wanted to play football in the lower leagues, going about it a slightly different way. So I think that was a, a fascinating thing to see from a from a distance, at, at, a, at a time where I was, I suppose, learning and uh, wanted to gain as many influences as I could. So I think in 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 the early days, um, Roberto and Graham were were two that I, I, I got inspiration from, and then um, and I think the other one that that springs to mind, certainly in that 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 phase of my life was. Um, was Pep Guardiola at Barcelona? Just seeing the the effect that he had um, on on that team and and on, on football, and uh, and obviously I followed his uh, followed his career since. Well, firstly, I'll come in, consult with my um, assistant coaches, um, ask them what they've seen, ask them for their um, thoughts and, and their observations. Um, take a moment to to reflect on those, and then and then to maybe discuss. Okay, what's the what's the plan? What's the initial messages at half time to start to 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 put that plan in place? If there needs to be something changed, or whether we just continue with what we're doing, um, and then once once we've got that formulated amongst ourselves, I'll I, I'll generally address the address the group keep it quite brief try to make two or three points um at the same time my assistants and analysts will have um maybe picked out some clips or you know footage from the game that that reinforces those points um make the points whether it's a tactical point uh, or a, sometimes an you know an emotional point depending on what's what's required um and then, and then, like I said, um, the guys will go around, check the understanding, check the the at an individual level. They, everybody's okay. Um, any queries, they can they can do that then. And I think at half time, um, and and it's a time where you can use emotion because um, you, you can. There's still there's still another half to play. There's still something you can do. You might have to change the the dynamic, the the attitude, the the thinking. Um, so it's it's a, a really important tool. Um, I suppose just by asking the question, there's a there's a chance that you can be used the wrong way, and and uh, you can be too emotional and and not thinking clearly, and the message gets diluted in a in an angry state or an emotional state. So it's about controlling that. I think that's where you need that time just to um, just to reflect, just to just to try and get some objectivity and some perspective in, in terms of what's uh, happened and then always have the, the 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 tool if you like up your sleeve that if if you need to affect things in a and speak in an emotional way because that's how the game is sometimes then you can do that in a in, in a way it's always it's always should be to try to help the team and improve the team and help us win it shouldn't be just to serve your own purpose to get get rid of some some emotion Well, I was there, there for seven years, so um, you can imagine lots of wonderful memories. If I was going to pick any, um, I, I would say I had probably two two real strong memories. One was the um, return match at uh, in Istanbul against Galatasaray in the Europa League. Um, we um, we we played a really uh, Tough game. Uh, we had to defend a lot, suffer a lot in a really hostile uh, environment. The supporters there in Istanbul are amazing, and um, we managed to we managed to go through. 
to beat Galatasaray over two games. And um, you can imagine the response for the for, for the home team was was really really aggressive. Their supporters were very um, very volatile in there, uh, and, and they were quite quick at letting the the, the team Galatasaray know that they were disappointed. But eventually, then they started to clap. They started to clap us. And um, we, we ended up having a bit of a, a lap around the pitch there um, with, with the supporters clapping us, which I don't think is, uh, that they were telling us that has not happened before. So that was a really goosebump moment. Um, and then, of course, the celebration celebrations in the in the changing room afterwards were were, were special. Um, and, and then the sec the second real highlight from a football perspective was the home match against um, Pauk. We were we were three one down from the first leg. We had to win two nil. And, and that was to actually get into the Europa League. So it was a final qualification match. And, um, and yeah, it was just a special night. We ended up winning 2-0. Um, the, the atmosphere and in the ground and the feeling of, of what we'd achieved was was amazing. So, um, yeah, luckily enough, my, my eldest was on the pitch afterwards and did a, a lap of honour. It was just a nice moment and um, felt really proud that you can be part of that experience, help the club, um, you know, certainly in the short and medium term. And um, yeah, just uh, uh, that probably those two are the, the main football memories. And then off the pitches, lots of friends and all that, that, you, that, that I, special memories that I have. Um, I would say that the tactical differences from Sweden to to the UK, um, well, we went from 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 Al Svenskan to to the Championship. Um, so the Championship itself is such a tough league. The amount of games you play, you go from playing thirty in Al Svenskan to I think forty six in the Championship. So just the intensity of the competition um, is is the real big difference. Tactically, the the ball goes in the box. I think a lot more in England. Uh, it's a, probably a bit more direct, a bit more physical. Um, and and in Sweden, because of the also the nature of the 4G pitches, sometimes the game is a bit more t tactical and technical. Um, but uh, I would say more so the physical element in the UK and the amount of games and the, and the fact that the crowd is so much in the game means uh, that that's the big difference. To see the full Q and A and for more exclusive content from top level professional and academy coaches. Subscribe to the Coach's Voice Academy at academy.coachesvoice.com.